Welcome Trio and Trio Plus pedal owners. Uh, this video is going to take you through the Trio Manager application. This is a piece of software that you can download from digitech.com website. It's free and it lets you manage your content that you are creating on your pedals. So the Trio Manager actually saves all your content to a mini SD card which is located in this slot here. Uh, you will have to take that card out and put it into your computer. Um, your PC so you can read it as an external drive and copy that file into the trio manager and that's the steps I'll show you in a few seconds here but uh, the other thing I want to point out is there's a USB plug and a cable that came with the trio and originally I thought when I downloaded the trio manager I can just plug the USB cable into the trio and read the content off of the trio through the USB using the trio manager and I found out that you can't do that. I guess that's why you should read instructions first. But uh, that plug, that, that the cable is only used to upload firmware to the Trio pedals. It's not, it's not there to um, uh, copy content from the, the pedal back to the computer. I'm not covering how to download the software and install it. That's pretty easy. It's on the digitech.com and I'll put a link into the YouTube uh, uh, detail uh, description. So to start the software, you can hit the Windows Start button, and it's uh, typically it's under Digitech, and there's the Trio Manager. So this is the this is the opening screen. On the right hand side will uh, is actually represents what's on your PC, and on the left hand side is what's on the S SD card. In this case, we don't have an SD card uh, open. I plug my SD card in and you have to click open card. It's going to open up file manager, look for Trio Plus. In this case, it's my D drive and it's going to be one file. It's a DAV file. You won't see individual song files on your SD card. It's always one file. So the first thing you'll notice is you're going to see some green dots, yellow dots, red dots, gray dots. If you see all five dots grayed out, that means the song slot is empty. Obviously, these have content on them because the, you can see the green, red, and yellow. Um, it also shows how many tracks you have for each particular song, just at a glance. There are two ways to save your content. You can save it as an entire card, and I'm going to show you that way. Uh, first, show you how to save individual songs. Now, if I click down here, anywhere down here, you'll see... On the right hand side, there's a tab called Song Library. <coughs> and on the left, um, I'm sorry, on the left hand side, you'll see that I can now, these, these arrows are bolded and I can now drag these songs over to the um, Song Library on my PC. That's one method to back up your content. And that's obviously, you can see, this is the method I like to use. I like to, to back up individual songs. There's the second method I'll show you is how to back up your entire card. The first step you want to do before you do any backups is because the pedal defaults all your song names to song 1 through 12, not very helpful. The, the first thing you want to do is rename these to what the song actually is. There are two ways to do that. You can just double click a song. It's going to bring up this window. This window provides a little bit more information also about the song parts. And if you see at the bottom here, you're going to see this particular song has five tracks or five parts. And it tells me what genre I use, what style, um, the tempo. Wouldn't that be nice if the tempo was actually on a... Wouldn't it be great if it was displayed right on the pedal, but it's not. That would really be helpful to make sure that you keep the same rhythm across five parts. But um, you can see I even drifted here on these. If I My intention was to keep it at the same rhythm. You can see here that I didn't. Uh, and then it also shows how many bars you actually recorded which is kind of nice. And so it's some detail there that I like. I do like this about the Trio Manager. It's also a place where you can change the song name. The other way you can change the song name is right mouse click and just click edit name and you can change it right there. Okay, I paused the video and I just renamed all my tracks. So I just put some names there and now I'm ready to copy uh, songs off of my SD card and put it on my PC. And the way to do this is you just uh, left mouse click and hold and drag and you can do 
each individual song like that. Now, the reason why I got this uh, pop-up is because I already have a song called Coffee Song on my PC. So this allows me to change the name. It's never going to let you overwrite a song. It's going to require you to change the name before you can copy it. And I can do two things. I can copy it or I can choose not to copy it since I already had it there. But I'll assume I made a second version of this and copy it over. Bring this one over too and this one. So you can see how fast it is to copy songs from, um, from the SD card to the song library. Going the other way is a little slower and you're going to see some of that as well because you're restricted or constrained by the SD card uh, read, um, I'm sorry, the write speed of the SD card. Uh, it's a lot faster going the other way. Okay, so I copied, uh, I backed them up to my PC and put songs in, in alphabetical order so I can check to see if they're there. See, there's my Coffee Song V2s here um, and uh, the original original what i call that original idea is here as well rmp jam should be down here so this it just puts it in alphabetical order now i can also go the other way you can see the arrow points the other way so i can actually say hey i want to go to a gig i'm going to bring over a few songs here and you can see this is a little bit of a slower process to write from the pc to the sd card so the idea there is if you had a bunch of songs in your library and you're going to a gig and you want to fill up an SD card, you can put it in the exact order that you're going to uh, do the set. Uh, typically, a set might be 10 to 12 songs, so that actually, the pedal might work out in a live situation in that case. Next thing I'll show you is how to archive a card. This is very similar. You can, you can just hold your, your, your click at the top here with a header, you hold your left mouse button and you drag over. Now, because I have a blues SD card here, let me rename this. You can also rename your card's name. So I can call this uh, Blues Funky Card. Whatever. Now I can hold my left mouse button in and drag it over. And the card is there. And you can double mouse double no, double mouse click double click that name and it actually brings up the information that's on the card all the songs you have on that particular card in this case six songs and you can actually drill down on the songs and see the same detail we were looking at earlier it's a view only you can't change anything at this point but you can actually see it uh, you can change the name of, of your card and put a description if you like um, on the pc side and hit save if you want. Okay, so that's how you back up a card. And I showed you how to back up individual songs. So how would you restore a card? Well, first thing, let's let's show you, I'll show you how to clear out um, the SD songs. So if I right mouse click, you'll see uh, an option called clear. Now, if I right mouse click on the PC side, I can delete songs off my PC as well, but it's delete, not clear. So that's the two differences, but it's the same, <laughs> the same results. Okay, so I can, if I hit this song and I say, I just clear this one out, say yes. The other option is if I wanted to clear the whole card all in one shot, I can click anywhere on the SD card side and I get a menu and right mouse click it and I hit clear all songs. You'll see it brings it back to the default song names. Everything's grayed out. No songs are there. So now I can show you how to restore. So I hit card library. I have the black arrows that's going to let me to restore. And I can restore any of these cards uh, information in once. I can just drag. The other option is I can right mouse click and restore a card. It's going to ask me if I want to overwrite. Now, what it's going to do, it's going to take a while. It's going to actually go through each song and, and start to restore the songs. So I'm going to pause the video. Okay, you can see that the uh, Blues Funky card has been restored on the blank SD card. And it put all the songs exactly the same order that it was on, on, the, uh, on the, the way I saved the card or archived the card. Um, the, uh, it took about a minute. To do six songs so i'm guessing if you had 12 slots it'd be about two minutes to 
to uh, restore um, from the PC. Now that's my computer. You might actually you might actually even have a faster card. You can buy cards that actually have a higher or a write speed. So it depends on the kind of card you buy, um, the SD card that you buy. That's pretty much it. I think I cover everything that this thing does. That's it. That's all it does. It's what it does. It's, it's good. I mean, it's not great. It would be so cool if it had a lot of other features to it, but it doesn't. It is what it is. Uh, so the other thing I'll show you up and help, you'll have a user guide. You click on the user guide. It's a seven page PDF. If you want to print it out, you can, but I think you can use this thing once you know what it's about. And the last thing I'll show you is before you pull your card out, you definitely want to make sure you hit close card because close card will uh, make sure that when you do pull the card out of your laptop or PC that, uh, that you're not going to corrupt it. So I hope this helped uh, anyone who was interested in a Trio Manager. Um, it's a great pedal. The Trio Manager, not so much, but uh, it's an okay software. It does what, you know, the backup part, the way, it, at least that's easy to use. It's easy to learn. But the, the pedal itself, harder to learn, but a lot of fun. Uh, and uh, I hope you guys are enjoying that. And thanks for stopping in and checking out the video.